The so-called anti-racist policies have racist consequences. Take affirmative action and diversity quotas. Leftists claim that, because of historical discrimination, blacks are at a competitive disadvantage, so standards must be lowered for them. My wife had a black professor who denounced affirmative action as harmful and insulting. She noted that millions of blacks like her have proven that they can compete without the benefits of lower standards. Affirmative action was casting doubts in the minds of colleagues and students on how she achieved her success. The policy was intended to help blacks, but lower admission standards set up many of these students for failure. They get placed in schools for which they are not prepared. The result is high black dropout rates. Race and ethnicity do not determine whether we succeed or fail as students or professionals. We must value individuals for their unique qualities, experiences, ambitions and achievements. Are these racist claims? Or is it more racist to insist that minorities are not as capable as whites and therefore need affirmative action? One of the most twisted ideas on the left is to treat everyone as a member of a caste. Apparently, the value of your views must be evaluated relative to your place in the hierarchy of something called intersectionality. This idiotic taxonomy takes into account how many victim groups you belong to. Initially, I discarded the term as just another millennialist fad. Then I recognized it as an echo from my socialist past. I grew up under a government awarding points of merit or demerit based on your family status of victimhood or privilege. Those were added to the points you earn on the entry exams for high schools and universities. Intersectionality affected everyone's professional and personal life behind the Iron Curtain. In seventh grade, I took the high school qualifying exams. The scores were posted publicly. I got in, but noticed kids with a C ranked above those with a B. Why? Their mom was a factory worker, or, even better, their grandpa helped the Red Army to occupy Bulgaria. Alas, my parents were professors and my grandparents never liked Stalin. Today you get points as a woman for being oppressed by the patriarchy. You get a bonus for being gay and oppressed by the heterosexual majority. All blacks have another victim status. I had no privilege then, and I'm sadly at the bottom of the totem pole now, a straight white male. The term intersectionality was coined by some professor to create alliances to fight the oppressor, me. Academics are entitled to all sorts of absurd ideas. Thankfully, People with common sense are not obliged to follow. Socialists are free to spin their theories in their ivory towers. You and I are free to expose them as gibberish. Both are evidence that America is the most diverse and inclusive place on earth. We should continue to judge individuals on character, not anatomy. For as long as the vast majority in America rejects intersectionality and anti-racism, we can preserve our great nation under God with liberty and justice for all.